What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris. Chris? My name is Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and with me today is my buddy, Michael. What's up, Chris? What's up, Mike? What's going on, Mike? Hey. K R I T uh, H L G H. Uh, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Third Person. We're doing the Leftover Season 3, Episode 6, entitled Certified. Uh, as you can see, our buddy Jesse isn't here. What are you going to do? Jesse's, Jesse's got himself a, a different schedule for the time being, so he, he won't be joining us for a little while, and we'll probably tell you that for the next few episodes, but there you go. Um, he will be sorely missed, but... Mike and I got some work to do. We got we got to get into this yes. episode. This was a, this was a really good episode, Mike. Before we jump into it, why don't you read us their stupid synopsis that we the find? Stupid online. synopsis, yeah, yeah, it's very ridiculous. But Lori Garvey, a former therapist, must become one again as she heads to Australia to help Nora and Kevin along their paths. Okay, that's it. That's that. That's stupid. Yeah, it's true, but it's stupid. Stupid but true. So this, so yeah. So this episode was pretty, pretty good though, man. I think there was a lot. We got this was a heavy episode. It was a, it was an emotional episode. It was a, it was big with um with with emotion, especially how everybody was still dealing with the the uh, departure still after so many years. Um, especially since we're a day away now. Uh, yeah, but we still see Nora, obviously, Nora is in search of, um, this machine, um, she's desperate to, to go, I don't think she cares, um, if it's a fluke, um, if she'll never come back, if she'll see her children or anything, I think she's just so desperate and in need to see her family again, that she's willing to do, you know, whatever it takes, um, by, by stalking, you know, stalking these these two physicists at their home and um also having Lori and and matt's help yeah you know yeah so she, i mean yeah she obviously she intends to go to the other side you know With, yeah yeah she intends to go to the other side and i think um i think Lori, this showed especially with her with the flashback um, which was probably one of my favorite parts of the episode, um, that because we, back, yeah. yeah, we finally got a taste of uh, where she was coming from. Um, the reveal that she was sitting with that one patient, which was the woman from the first episode, with the baby crying in the laundromat, which was it was. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, how they connected those dots um, and how Lori wasn't able to say anything. And this woman was getting so frustrated. She's like, just tell me what the fuck to do. Yeah. And she, and in her mind, she didn't know what, what to do uh, even for herself. So I thought that was really, um, you know, that was, that was a great episode. Um, even though she didn't say much, I just thought that they really brought that across big time with her, um, with her acting job. But it was it was a little crazy to see what she was willing to do by swallowing all these pills. I'm like, at first, I'm like, what the fuck is she doing, you know? And then she's just taking these handful of these pills, and she was ready to go. You know what I mean? Well, you know, she didn't. Now we didn't we didn't see that she was pregnant and lost it in the first season, did that we? Was, no, we didn't see that at all. Right. She reveals so that in the in the end of the episode when she finally sees Kevin arrive. So, but you know? so that's what I'm saying. Like, we were. Like watching it and like I'm like oh my god now you know why she did everything because yeah. when she joins the guilty remnant we were like what the hell's her problem like okay we get it you know she was having problems with Kevin Kevin cheated on her right all this stuff but I was like damn so obviously it was it was that it was the fact that she was, lost yeah. she lost the damn baby she didn't know how to deal with it this woman's talking about the baby that she lost and she's like my baby wasn't even fucking born i'm gonna kill myself and right then and there like so we got we got some closure on that question like we got to see what happened like she was done you know no we um, got that we got that she she lost it or she aborted it no the baby departed dude oh shit that see i'm not even i didn't even think think that so from inside the womb it departed she's like i was watching it on the screen wow, dude, and it just crazy. disappeared stupid me yeah How fu that would fuck you that. fuck you up man yeah i don't think that was all of it though 
Well, I mean, like I said, it was. I mean, you know, obviously, I think that it was, was definitely a part of it. That was a huge part of it, but. but yeah, it shows. It showed. Yeah, I guess. I mean, would she? She would have known, you know, at that moment, right? Yeah. Because yep. she said the day before, you know, it happened. She found out that she was, you yeah. know, she was. Uh, I think she said she was four months pregnant. Something like that. Um. So yeah, that's wow. That's crazy. But uh, you know, obviously there was something, um, that that caused her to take that that uh, elixir or whatever it was to make her puke all the stuff up. So she didn't. Epicat. Epicat, yeah, something like something. that, whatever. It makes you throw yeah. up, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, that was, you know, so uh, that was <laughs> that was just, that was like a really horrible thing. And you, and, yeah. and it really just, it just fucking explained it. Like, you're like, okay, Laurie, I get it now. I get you now. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. But I want to go back to Nora real quick because, so so she plans on going to the other side and Matt stayed with her. So this tells us two things. One is that yeah. she's she's gone. She doesn't care about anybody or any she never did. Yep. She just wants her children. She wants to be back. So she's gonna go yeah. regardless of everything yep. she said, everything has led up to her doing this. But mm -hmm. what about Matt? So remember how we were discussing last time that we thought Matt might have been done with the whole thing? Mm -hmm. I think this answers our question. He's done. He doesn't care because this is a big. This is a big thing, man. He doesn't. It kind of shows that he doesn't believe anymore because he not only does he give up the book that he wrote, which man. I don't know where he got a second copy from. But well, that was the burnt. That was the burnt. Oh, the, copy. it was the burnt one. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. So he gives that up, and yeah. he says, you know, he says he needs to be with family. So he's just giving up the fact that he wanted to be with Kevin during the flood. And also, does he know that Kevin that they wanted to kill Kevin? Was he in on that? I guess he was. Well, he wasn't. No, he doesn't uh, know that. He though. wasn't there with them yet. He so he doesn't know that they wanted to kill Kevin again. But we'll he get didn't to know that their in a second. Plan, but but he but he he wanted to be he he was the one saying I need to be here with yeah. Kevin here. No, no, he actually wanted to bring Kevin back because remember he's like we have to That's, bring Kevin back. That yeah. all right, there you go. That's more important than what I was saying. He said that we have to bring Kevin back. And now he's like, back, yeah, nope. Mary came back in nope. Miracle. Yep. And he's like, nope, I don't that, care you know, now. Yeah. I think it was just the, the fact that now he realizes that he's dying of it, his cancer's back. I, I, think, I don't think, see, I disagree with you when you say that um, I still believe he feels um, Kevin, it, there is something uh, spiritual about Kevin. I just think that after Nora's breakdown with Lori there on, the, on that uh, overlook while they were looking at the two physicists there. I just feel like Kevin just realized. I mean, not Kevin. Or excuse me, Matt. Matt. And when you said Matt says I, it's a good, I should be with my family. Blah, blah blah. I don't necessarily think that means that he doesn't believe. I just think that he he doesn't care. Um, he knows he's gonna die. So regardless if he's saved um, uh, on the fourteenth, seven years later or not, um, it doesn't matter because he's gonna because eventually he's pass. And that's his sister. And I think he realized in that moment. Um, that he needs to be with her. Damn. And she was just, she was enamored with the fact. She's like, yes. Nora was like, yes, stay. Yeah, yeah, of, co of course. So, of course she wants her family there. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen now with with that, with Nora and Matt and where they are right now, where we left off in this. What are we, that was six. We have two more to go. Um, two more, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Either way, he's done with that. He doesn't. Yep. He doesn't. I don't think he feels like he needs to be with. He doesn't need know. it anymore. He wants. To, yeah, he's like. Uh, I didn't even. I didn't even consider the fact that he's dying. Yeah. Uh, and he thought about that. Um. Man, <laughs> what a fucking crazy episode, man. And, and to be honest, I wasn't all. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a Laurie episode. This is dumb. But dude, it was like one of the best episodes, man. Like, so let's let's head over to the farm and okay. we find out that Kevin obviously was at the. They, they couldn't he couldn't get to the airport so kevin called them oh no john called kevin and said he kevin said listen i'm on this ranch or whatever so i gotta scratch my eye. and he says um come here so michael um and uh john go over there and uh yeah they just they want him to die they want him to to to, to die again for them and they want him to talk to people so what what do you think that 
What do you think about the fact that one that they want him to die, and two that they they each have something that they want? So one, I'll, go, I'll you know just to recap that one, yeah. his dad wants him to find the song from uh, Christopher. Yeah. Get the song. Yeah. And John wants him to uh, tell Evie that she that was loved. She was loved. Which was yeah. really, which was fucking amazing when he's mm-hmm. talking to Laurie. John and Laurie are out there sharing a cup of coffee on the morning of, and he's she's like what do you what are you gonna like and she doesn't she doesn't that, believe it at that point i don't think she yeah. did but i don't think she's i don't like, think she still i don't think she ever believes believed it you know what you know? i'm gonna get we're gonna get to that in a second because i have a big mm. thing about the about that but towards the end mm. either way she's like john what do you what do you think you're gonna get out of it what do you want what do you want kevin to say to her like you want her to why do you want to know why and he's like no i just wanted to know she's loved like that made me tear up like fuck he's like he's made peace with it yeah this episode had so many fucking layers man it was like every turn was like because every time a character said something you were like oh they're gonna be like this and they weren't and it was like damn Mm -hmm. so yeah so i mean what do you think about that man i mean obviously when when laurie when kevin rides up and and laurie you know the thing that kind of bugged me out at first i was like uh the dinner scene um, at the farm well, when uh, yeah. everybody starts nodding off. I want to. I want to talk about that. So <laughs> if you want to, if you want, yeah, we can get I back mean, to that question in a second because yeah. um, that was a whole other thing I wanted to talk about. How basically Lori says that she's Judas. Okay, so Kevin yeah. Senior says, "Oh, you're going to be the Apostle Thomas," or, and she's like, "Well, no, actually, I'm. I'm because he's like when when I started hearing voices, you're the only one that said you believe me, and then I ended yeah. up in a fucking institution." Yeah. And she's like, well, then that means I should be Judas. And she goes on to explain that Judas says that he believed in something. He's like, she says, doubting is easy. She yeah. says, but believing in something is harder. And yeah. Judas, to her, believed that Jesus was not what he said. So it took more conviction and strength to believe that and to turn on him. Mm-hmm. you know. And then Michael says, well, he took his 30 you know, silver pieces and then he hung himself. And yeah. she's like, I didn't know that. Yeah. She's like, I didn't know that. And that's very fucking important. It is. That's very important because it the is. conversation that she had with Nora in the car pre and earlier that the, the the day previous when they're staking yeah. out the the physicist is mm-hmm. that Nora says how she would kill herself would be a scuba diving accident, and h- hence the name of the, the title of the, this episode is certified. She's like, well, I'm I'm certified. I'm certified. And she's like, how easy would it be? How easy would it be to to just turn a knob the wrong way? And yeah. nobody would know. And she went into this whole thing. And again, all of that is is so important because Lori didn't. She didn't. It all manifested realize. at the end. What? It all manifested at exactly. the end. Exactly. It, so, it was all foreshadowing of what was to come. So hold on now. So yeah. so Lori, like Judas, commits suicide, and yeah. so she really did consider herself Judas. Not only Judas in the fact that she turned, you know, she she turned her, you know, pops in. But everybody, everything she did, she just turned her back on Kevin. She turned her back on all of it. She turned she, her back. You know what was tough? I think not even Kevin. I think when she got that call on the boat. Okay, so now now from, hold on now let's Tom and, now I want to talk about that too. And I'm yeah. sorry, I'm, I'm I'm. But you're 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 going right into all of my thoughts, and I this yeah. was a train of thought I had. Yeah. How do you feel, and how do you guys out there feel about the fact that? Her last conversation was with her children, okay? Yeah. Couple things here now. They're very important, I think. And I fe- and, and again, this 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 had my chest hurting. <laughs> her kids, so her mom they they call her up. They're both together. Okay? Yeah. But they're grown, they're grown now. They're essentially adults, okay? Yeah. They don't need her. In her mind, I feel like she thought they don't need me. But think of the phone call. They were yeah. acting like children. Like yeah. little kids. Oh, yeah. see, I told you, Mom. Can you tell Jack, him that asshole or whatever? Yeah, just fucking around with each other. Yeah. Dude, think about that dichotomy. She knows that they're adults and doesn't need her anymore. She doesn't have to raise them anymore. Yet they're yeah. calling her, and there's this, and the conversation is akin to something as if they were preteens. Yeah. Like, think about it, man. That that's getting yeah. to me right now. Like, that's so fucking powerful. Yeah. And then she decides to fucking do and it. She still anyway. goes. I know. That's what. That's that was the big thing for me was. Um, not that I wanted Lori necessarily to 
to kill herself or anything because obviously you can see that 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 coming especially like you said with the the nora and laurie conversation right. the day before you can see that coming um but i was wondering if it was going to change her mind or not so that's what shows how compelled she was how broken she was yeah um uh does it does it does it make you think that she believed the end was coming on on this anniversary or anything like that and that's why she just had no problem or would did she just do it because she just can't couldn't deal with life i think i think that i think part of that answer is in what you and i had the conversation off camera about Lori's last words to kevin yeah Uh, besides being by kevin before that she he asks her is nora gone and he she replies we're all gone yeah, it was awesome. And I think that kind of says it all, is that mm-hmm. she is just done. She's mm-hmm. had too many years of this. Her 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 husband, her her most recent husband believes in this. He, well, you know, he don't know what he... Dude, not to tangent myself, but dude, everybody... Do you realize that everybody's just off on their own thing now? Nobody believes anything anymore. They just believe... Yeah, nothing they just i just i'm here john says i'm gonna see this through i don't know what's yeah. gonna happen i don't care anymore he's like i just i'm here i'm just gonna see this to, through yeah you you went this far you know kind of thing. i i mean it's listen, just <laughs> uh, you know do would they would they sacrifice kevin you know to, to go on this seesaw thing and to be dumped if they didn't necessarily believe that you know, they saw, remember, Michael saw, John saw, excuse me, um, firsthand what Kevin Jr. has been through and yeah. coming back. And especially Michael, dude, because I'll never get over the fact that he buried. He, he watched buried, him die and then buried and then you him. You see him pull out some Night of the Living Dead coming from the earth and, and yeah. crawling out from this, this burial site. It's so fucking insane. I man. do think that they believe. Um, in him, I don't think they know exactly. I don't think anybody knows exactly what what is going to happen. I think they all. Uh, want of course, to. A, yeah. a big part of it is 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 the faith in general. But um, yeah, to see to see Kevin um, firsthand, like I said, is I just think that's all all the meaning. And I just and they're all hoping, you know. So if you have this guy that can potentially talk to the people that you that that you miss so much and your loved ones and and especially like you said with Kevin Kevin senior and and talking to um what was his name uh, the 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 yeah Christopher yeah um they all they, there's all some kind of stock that they all have in him so regardless of what happens yeah 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 definitely but um these these next two episodes i think it'll be really fucking cool and you know as we get to the end i just i just really hope that it, there's a big payoff um in the finale i mean you know? seriously dude you're right two episodes left man yeah. you know it's just I, i'm just it's sad i feel so bad for all these people like everything is just fucked and I and, and and I was thinking about it, and I love that they took it out of Miracle, out of Jarden. I mm. love that they're not there, and that we have this call group. Lori, for all intents and purposes, is is done. They're yeah. just pulling. They're just pulling these people out of the way. It's mm. really cool how they're doing yeah. this. Like they're really, I think, that they're doing it so well. They're just basically stripping everything away for us. And at the end, we're just going to see this like raw nerve, I think, you know? And I hope it pays off. Like you said, I agree. Mm-hmm. I hope it pays off. I fucking really yeah. hope it does. A um, couple of things I just wanted to touch on. We did find out why that man, the naked man, yeah. launched the nuke. And that was yeah. because he thought there was a... A, a, a giant egg sea monster creature. Yeah, there was a giant monster that was going yeah. to come out on, on the seven-year anniversary. So he did yeah. that. So that was interesting that we saw that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, um, and then Lori, we found out what you know what went down with Lori. So we kind of got a complete story on Lori. Oh, I, think, I, I mean, you know? uh, for sure. Yeah. Um, so we're sure. wait we're waiting to see what's going to happen with Matt and what's going to happen with Nora, and yeah. if Nora's going to, you know, man, I'm telling you, I think they're going to show Nora leave, and we're not going to see anything. We're just going to have to assume what happened, you know. And maybe um, Matt, maybe Matt will join um everybody at the at the farm you know if nora does oh dude what if nora goes and kevin dies and she and he sees her 
Oh my god. He sees Isn't her on the other side. Because remember, we got that little that we got that little um the clip of like the old looking Nora, right? Oh yeah, we what was did. that a few yeah. what was that a few episodes ago? That or was so? the first like, episode. I, was it the first the end one of the of first the episode, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we saw her in Australia yeah. at some future time. So fuck, so, I forgot about that. Damn. Yeah. All right. Maybe that can play in in some some time with her. Excuse um me. You know, I'm intrigued to see um, if this machine is legit. That's another thing, man. That's you another know? thing, yeah. I'm I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'm looking forward to see what will happen with with Kevin Jr. Um, after you know we we know what the plan is. I want to see him know. go back. I want to see now that and he's dunking him. Yeah, yeah I exactly. See what's going to happen, man? Oh, yeah. my God, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a pretty. Whatever happens, I think it's going to be fulfilling at least just to see some stuff, you know? Oh, absolutely. Um, anything else, man? I, I mean, I know we, co- we probably uh, I mean, missed a few uh, things, but I think I think we talked about what we wanted to talk about. I think we got our, some of our questions out there. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I really – I'm trying to think of anything else. I think I think we're good, man. No, I did like um, – well, we didn't really talk about the, the cop that came, but that really – Oh, that's yeah, it's some silly you shit know, where and, you know I had to rewind it because I'm like, wait, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. They fucking he clips the cop, man. That was pretty it's funny. The cop was looking for the for the Kevin cop that was killed, and yeah. they have him fucking hidden underneath the barn. You know, it's left of the barn floor, and I thought it was um was crazy because you see, I think it was Lori and John talking, and through the window you see the Grace yeah. and Kevin Senior talking with this police officer, and all of a sudden you see smack a fucking shovel to the back of the guy's head yeah. but um yeah and as they were driving i think they were getting ready to drive her who, who was it again i'm uh, slipping my mind but i remember that you heard the storms and you saw the storm oh clouds. yeah well no kevin was about to he's gonna go take the body he was gonna leave or something right with the he's body gonna, he was gonna go was? put he's gonna go leave him in the, in the outback yeah. and, and he tells Lori yeah. he's like a storm's coming you yeah, know yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, so man. uh yeah, it, you know, I mean, without uh, repeating myself a million times, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited to see what happens, yeah. and such I just a, hope the payoff show. is big. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm, you know, the, the the show is definitely interesting. It's um, gonna be sad to see it go. Um, like I said, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, I feel, I feel sad for these for these <laughs> characters because I, I like these characters and they've just, been through a lot you and know? you know and this episode was really like i don't know it got to me man like and i hope the next two also do i mean every every episode you know it kind of gets to me and they and they play the the theme music is so good like when it starts playing that theme music so it played yeah. when laurie and kevin jr were talking and it's like damn it man you people know what you're doing you know what yeah. you're doing um yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, listen, if we missed anything, obviously, you know, you'll let us know down in the comments. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Uh, yep. Let us know what you guys think, where this is going. I mean, where do you, where do you guys think this is going to end? Um, throw some theories down there, whatever. Rate it if you want. Absolutely. Um, this is such a, such a, it's such a good show, you know, such a fun show. So, um, you know, glad yeah. we get to talk about it. Um, all mm-hmm. right. So, so let's just drop it. Let's be done. <laughs> call that, call that an episode. Mikey, where can they get to us? Of course, you guys can all get to us at Third Person Pod on all the social medias there. Of course, on YouTube, um, just like Chris said, leave those comments and those theories um, below there. Um, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Third Person Pod. Also, Facebook. That's a great uh, a great place to to leave some comments and things there see, also. See. And don't forget us on iTunes. Um, you, can, you can listen to us and uh, you know, drive to work and listen to Third Person. Yeah, maybe give us a little rating if you like. That'd be yeah, that'd be that fun. sounds good. Hey, we'll you know? take that too. We'll take anything. Yeah, um, and uh, lastly, uh, yeah, don't forget um, if you haven't checked out Retro Squat, go check that out. RetroSquat.com. It's just a uh, it's a retro kind of podcast. It's a comedy podcast uh, that I do uh, uh, with another buddy of mine. And um, so go check that out. You can go figure out what that is. Yes. And uh, if you go to ComicBlitz.com and go get, get yourself some comics, you can use the promo code Third Person Pod. Get yourself some free comics for a little while, and uh, you can go check that out. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, Guys, that's going to do it for us here. Two more episodes to go of The Leftovers. We can't wait. Um, That's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for commenting, and uh, we love you guys. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace out, guys. Peace.